Austin Reeves, you take care of business today. An impressive, pretty comprehensive victory, and it's going to land you staying here in New Orleans to play this team again on Tuesday. You were playing this game, so probably not aware. Uh, Phoenix was able to win at Minnesota, so that sets you up for the 7-8. Just kind of take me through you guys' mentality in this situation. Uh, turn around and do it again Tuesday. Um, you know, we'll watch film probably tomorrow on, you know, what we did well, what we didn't do well, and like I said, you know, try to come, you know, do the same thing tomorrow or uh, Tuesday. As you mentioned to me before we started, we also spoke before the game. Uh, you seem thrilled about that. You get to get to talk twice. And now you watch LeBron. That was kind of what you were talking about. LeBron in a game like this. Uh, can you just describe what he did on the floor tonight? Uh, just as... as focus was, you know, uh, what you always think it is in this time of the year. You know, I think he had an 11 assists in the se uh, second quarter. Um, you know, with like five minutes ago, I think he had 11 assists. So he come out getting everybody involved and then, you know, he just takes over the game late, him and AD. You know, the, uh, two of the, you know, best players, you know, in the game today. So um, sometimes you just got to, you know, sit back and watch them do what they do and uh, try to support them any way you can. Yeah, you and D'Angelo both efficient from the perimeter. Uh, you've been like that again New Orleans this year. What were you able to get going? Well, yeah, they're cheering for you, uh, no, waiting to go for LeBron. Okay, yeah. you're, you're right. Of course, of course, he just went up. Uh, but how were you able, uh, D'Lo able to get unlocked in the perimeter? Uh, I think, like I said, Brom was being a uh, super, you know, playmaker in that first half, and I think he just got us a couple good looks early. I know he got D'Lo on a little curl at the top of the key for a layup for his first bucket. Uh, just getting those, you know, easy couple first, you know, shots gives you good confidence. Last quick one for you, AD obviously went to the locker room. A little early, uh, looked like holding kind of his back area. A level of concern about him as you get into uh, head into Tuesday. I'm gonna go in there and tell him he's playing regardless. <laughs> I appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> situation here almost like game one and game two of a playoff series uh you did that last year you won in memphis then you won in golden state they come back harder in game two what did you learn from that experience and what do you expect from new orleans on tuesday i think they're gonna come out ready to you know give it all they got you know um i think our groups experienced as well knowing how to you know match that energy and prepare for that energy you know and uh on the road you know as well so all the adversity is is against us and we're ready you know i like our experience with the with the core group that we have that made that run last year going into this year with adversity setting in i think we're just a better team so i'm looking forward to you know attacking it head on we've seen in these four matchups you guys are able to get good shots against them uh, if you know if they want to try to help on ad you have answers for that uh, you and austin have both been going from the perimeter lebron's able to kind of dissect what they do what what have you noticed about their defense that's been able uh, enabled you guys to get good shots like this i mean when you have lebron dominating the game from every cylinder and you know point guard in the whole game basically quarterback in the whole thing it allows us to be dangerous when we get the ball it's not having to think about or anything or do anything like that it allowed tp to be aggressive you know and have his imprint Rui. um Gabe, Kane, Vince, Spence, myself, AR, like just the supporting cast, it allows us to be, you know, efficient and aggressive in our in our moments. Yeah, we saw the adjustment. Willie Green pulls Valencia Unis from the starting lineup to start the third quarter and goes with a smaller group in Nance. Uh, but you guys were able to go on a run nonetheless. Like, well, how are they different when they try to go a little smaller? Uh, I'm not going to speak on that, you know. You know, I might give them a tip or two, um, but hopefully they do that again, you know, and we take advantage of it like we did. And... I, like I said, I like our group. I like our team where we're at right now, approaching this postseason. Last one for you. Uh, so, you know, if you win that game, you advance into the postseason. You guys worked this hard to get to a point where you could just win one playing game and not have to do the two. Um, is it important to you uh, to try and, and get that job done in the seven? Heck yeah, we don't want to play with it. You know, I know we can go, we could easily, you know, lose and then still have a chance. But those teams that are waiting for us um, to go play them at home, I, I'd, I'd rather us take care of business now than you know, kill ourselves and, and, and drain it a little bit before we go into when it really matters. So I like I like where we're at. Take care of business. Um, go home and prepare for whoever we got to play. That's good insight for the fans. We appreciate you waiting on us. For that. Thank you, man. You the one waiting. Appreciate Mike, man. We, you know, we've spoken to everybody about this, but LeBron the other day just about like the importance and how they can't replace what you do. So you know, you pull up a little bit with five minutes left. You can imagine people a little anxious about that. Uh, how are you feeling and what did you feel happen? Yeah, I'm feel good. I mean, Larry just uh, thank you, Larry. Uh, gave me a little shove in the back. Um, the back just locked, like locked up on me. Uh, nothing concerning, you know. But 
you know, when I'm, <clears throat> I was in the air. So, obviously, it's a dangerous play. I mean, I, I know he's not a dirty player. Uh, but, you know, when I'm in the air and then get shoved in the back now, the back is in hyperextension and it just locked up, <clears throat> you know, so. Uh, Nothing concerning for me, though. So you have tonight to work on it, and then all day Monday. Obviously, you're staying here, don't have to fly. Uh, what, what will be your plan with the back? And do you feel pretty confident that you'll be 100% on Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> no doubt that I'm going to play. But, uh, I mean, just see how it feels for the rest of the day. Obviously, getting massages, getting some treatment. You know, uh, I love my man, Lil Low. Nah, Low. You know what I'm saying? Do you want to ask Um, Thanks, Steve. Uh, just some, some treatment. Um, just keep it loose. Uh, just see how I feel over the you know, next uh, 24, 36 hours and um, get ready for Tuesday. So, uh, LeBron, we were talking about how this is basically like a two game or a playoff series, right? Where game one, game two is coming up. Game two is typically harder when you win game one. What it was the key and, and what do you think you can transition from this game into that one? Yeah, um, just our defensive intensity. Uh, obviously, we made some shots tonight, but uh, what we can control is our defensive intensity, how we can came out, excuse me, to start the game um, and just attacking. So uh, we continue to play how we played tonight, well, today defensively. Uh, <clears throat> we'll have enough um, confidence going into Tuesday game to uh, you know, try to do everything we can to get the win. In year 21, you know, getting LeBron on both sides of the ball every night is just probably not that realistic. He has to sort of pick his spots. Um, when he's able to play with this kind of energy defensively, how does that change you guys? Um, obviously, this time of the year, he he wants the tough matchups. You know, he 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 locks in defensively. Um, you know, I mean, even in the early in the, early in the game, <coughs> he uh, we we got on Rui, and I think the score was like six to two. Like it wasn't, you know, uh, it was just that time of the year. We all trying to we all trying to um, do everything we can to get wins, and um, you know, obviously when he. When he's defending like that, uh, it just make our team you know, even much better defensively, and give our guards and the rest of our guys a, a lot of confidence on the ball. Uh, it gives us a lot of confidence in our schemes um, to do certain things that we probably wouldn't do. But you know, when he's ball hawking and getting steals, blocking shots, rebounding, you know, doing all the talking, doing all the things that he he always does, um, it makes our defense a lot tougher to score. When you turn the page on the regular season, uh, you're going to play in the tournament as either the 7 or the 8 uh, if you win the game, obviously. Uh, but you're 12 years over 500. You make history as the first ever in season tournament winner. How do you kind of sum up the year thus far? Up and down season. Uh, we've had our highs, we had our lows, we had our, our share of injuries. Um, but like you say, uh, 12 games over 500. Um, obviously, we want we don't want to be in this position, um, but we are. Uh, we're gonna make the the best of it. Um, you know, it's one game at a time, starting Tuesday. But <clears throat> it's definitely been an up and down season for us. But uh, it's been fun at the same time. For you individually, this is the most regular regular season games you've played. Is what we need to prepare your body for the long haul of of the year. I just felt good this summer. Felt good uh, coming to the season. Um, like I said, the past couple of years, the injuries that just randomly happened that I couldn't control. Uh, but I think for the most part this year, I just, um, you know, my goal was to play all 82. Obviously, I had the ankle, um, <clears throat> you know, and, and the Achilles thing. But for the most part, I felt great this year. I felt fine and um, you know, I was able to step on the floor for uh, 76 games, you know, this year. So Last two. Only four games separate, like, the number four seed to the number nine, ten seed this year. Last year, you guys advanced uh, as a seven seed out of the uh, – um, just out of the first round in the Coppers Finals. You think about Miami advancing. Are, do you think when people talk about All-NBA, uh, things like that, Defensive Player of the Year, like that you can focus a little bit too closely on standings when once it gets down to this point, it seems to be a, have a little bit less import than the past? I don't know. I mean, I'm actually over all the individual awards. 
I don't know what the standard is anymore, so I don't. My job this time of the year is to focus on our team and try to win Tuesday, starting Tuesday, trying to win Tuesday, um, get seven, and then I think who was two? Denver? Denver's going to And, you know, but <clears throat> our job is to focus on Tuesday. My job is to focus on Tuesday. Obviously, we know uh, this team is more than capable of uh, playing better than they play tonight, shooting better. Um, so we got we to gotta lock in. But um, all the all NBA and individual awards and stuff, uh, I don't know. I don't know anymore. And I, I'm done trying to figure it out. From an adjustment perspective, what, what do you feel like you guys could do better coming out of this game? Um, I think we started off the third quarter pretty good, and then we got a little sloppy, some turnovers. Uh, we missed some easy shots. Uh, we started fouling and got them to the line. Uh, we had some some things where we allowed CJ some walk up threes. Um, uh, obviously, Irv shot the ball well. Uh, he's an improved shooter. Um, you know, it was B.I.'s first game, <laughs> right? I'm sure, I think he was on a minute restriction. It looked like he wasn't. So uh, I'm not I'm not sure what's the plan for him on Tuesday as far as minutes and things like that. But uh, I'm pretty sure he'll get more more time. Um, so we just got to come in and, and, you know, flush this one and uh, watch the film tomorrow and try to figure out ways we can be better. Um, I think on the defensive end. Offensively, uh, I think we're pretty good tonight. But the defensive end, uh, that's something that we can do better. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks. You always talk about kind of reading the game, taking what the defense gives you. Uh, what were you seeing in that first half to get to the 13 assists and just kind of picking things apart? Uh, just reading the game and just finding my teammates and, you know, uh, just trying to put the ball on time and on target for either, uh, you know, jump shots or guys at the rim and just trying to be very efficient with my play. In the in-season tournament semi, uh, you guarded Zion pretty effectively and seemed like that was there again tonight. What were you doing to limit him and, and what do you think the impact of that was on the game? I mean, he's a beast. I mean, it's almost impossible to stop him. So just try to keep a body on him. You just try to make it tough on him. But he's a great player, man. So um, the best thing, I have help, you know, behind me and in front of me. And that's always communicating me throughout that matchup. Somewhat of a unique situation in that you'll stay here. Uh, you know, the Phoenix wins in Minnesota. So you can play New Orleans again, of course, on Tuesday. What is that dynamic like? Uh, is it almost feel like a playoff series where you get game one, game two against the team in their building? Yeah, that's what exactly it feels like. So um, you don't get too high on one win because you got to come back and play it again. So, you know, we played good ball tonight, but, you know, some things we could be better at, but things we could take from tonight. But at the end of the day, you know, game on Tuesday is this new game, and it's a new opportunity for us to be better. You guys have spoken about the confidence you have in the group when you're whole, you're close to whole as you were tonight. What were the indicators for you early on that, that you guys were prepared to give your best shot tonight? Nah, I mean, listen, you just try to prepare and then you go on and play the game and see where, see where it takes you. So, you know, I do like the way we played today. You know, it was a good good test for us, um, a good regular season for us, even throughout throughout everything that's went on uh, throughout this whole season. Uh, for us to, you know, end the season 12 games over 500, 13 if you count the championship in the in-season tournament. I mean, it's, you know, for everything we went through, it was a pretty good season for us. LeBron, um, you've talked about kind of wanting to be as available as possible compared to where you were physically at the end of last season to be able to go out there tonight and, and have kind of the all-around game um, how good do you feel physically right now um, uh, I mean better than I did at the end of the season last year going into the postseason um, obviously still dealing with it whatever the case may be some small things here small things there but um, I took a lot of pride in the off season and just trying to get my get my ankle get my foot back, uh, back in order um, get my body back in order and uh, it's definitely paid off for me you know throughout the regular season not quite sure how many games I played this year you guys will probably know uh, that's, that's pretty you know that's pretty cool you know at this point in my career to be able to play 70 plus games be available for my guys um, you know I think only a couple of them, either uh, a few of them, was because of injury or illness or being sick. So you know, that's pretty cool. As somebody in those games who's been able to pick their spots and how they want to affect the game on both sides of the ball, at this time of year, is that completely thrown out the window? Is this like is the version of you that was out there tonight? Is that kind of what you want to be the rest of the way through? I just want to win. So whatever the game presents itself for me to be, if it needs to be more attack.
there in the scoring range or if it needs me to be more of a setup guy, if it needs me <coughs> excuse me, be more of a defender, I got to do it all. My, I am a Swiss Army knife, so I got to do it all on the floor, and uh, but none of it is predetermined. Uh, look, it'll be 71, but then 72, including in season tournament finale. Uh, LeBron, we, we, you mentioned this earlier, but so playing the team in game two, typically a lot harder than game one on the road in that kind of setting, so I, I assume you expect the Orleans to come out differently. Absolutely. Um, two of this game is going to be extremely hard, extremely difficult, extremely physical. Um, you know, um, and I've always I've always known that when you play a playoff series, and I'm looking at this as like a two-game playoff series, when you, if you win that first game, a team has multiple days to kind of sit on that feeling, you know, or sit with that taste in their mouth of, of defeat. So they're going to be, um, you know, extremely ready for us, and we have to come in with the same, um, you know, sense of urgency as we had the previous game. So. That's the difference. Last question. Ron, in 2003, you played your first NBA game. Today, you played your last regular season game of 21. Do you have time to, like, reflect on that? No, nah, not really. Um, kind of just got to just like kind of live in the moment. Um, you know, be just um, extremely, you know, happy and, and, you know, I guess, you know, proud of the fact that I could just be a part of this league for so long and, you know, represent my family um, at the utmost uh, highest honor and respect every time I step on the floor and every time I walk outside of the arena. So, um, you know, it's just an honor to be a part of this great league and uh, that's, what, that's, all, that's what it's all about, honestly, for me. Um, I haven't had much time to reflect on it, but I've done some, some pretty cool things in my career so far. Thank you. For sure. Hey, Darwin, uh, first of all, just any indication on what happened with AD there and, and how, did you get a chance to see how he's doing in the locker room? Uh, they were, you know, they're looking at him right now. I believe it was just a spasm, though. Nothing, you know, major. Okay, so that, that would, of course, be you would be optimistic or you kind of wait to see? Extremely you? optimistic. Okay, okay, got it. Uh, Darwin, just the focus and mentality throughout from your stars all the way down to the role players of what, how did you get to that point today? Uh, and uh, what did you think overall? You know, you could just feel the vibe. You know, when we did our uh, walkthrough yesterday at the hotel, watch film, um, you know, a lot of guys disappointed in the way uh, we kind of didn't completely drop the rope, but, you know, some mistakes we made in that Memphis game, just, you know, trying to make sure we're, we're as tight as possible on both sides of the ball in terms of our execution. So, you know, we wanted to come out early, set a tone defensively. Um, and also set a tone offensively by not settling. Defensively, you know, given multiple efforts, you know, it's a tough offensive team. You know, they, they do a lot. They, they can beat you in a variety of ways. And one point of attack for them being the three-point line. So just making sure we, we have bodies on bodies, bodies in front of bodies, stopping them from driving downhill. And then uh, offensively, you know, trying to play the game inside out, loving and living in the paint, as we like to call it and uh, as we like to do. Darvin, I asked you pregame about LeBron's defensive energy. Um, you guys put him on Zion. I guess, I guess, you know, after 21 years in this league, it'd be, you probably shouldn't expect that every night. But when you get that version of him, what does that do for you guys? It just sets a tone. You know, usually it's AD setting that tone, um, a couple other guys. But with Bron, you know, just, just him setting that tone, uh, taking on that's a Huge challenge, you know, that kid is a hell of a basketball player. The physicality which he plays with, his athleticism, his ability to finish with either hand around the basket and uh, play, constantly play downhill. It's a huge challenge that he took on. And, uh, you know, again, it sends a message to the rest of our team that a guy of uh, bronze stature and his, his tenure, you know, steps up to the plate to, to defend a young, you know, superstar like that. Uh, Again, it, 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 no one else can make excuses. And so um, completely uh, set the base for our defense and, you know, guys responding, our, getting our deflections and, you know, forcing those guys into 19 turnovers. Um, it was great. Our activity was at a high, high level. Darvin, uh, on the other end of the floor, LeBron had 17 assists, including eight in the first eight minutes, uh, really setting a tone that way. And finding Rui along the baseline for, for cuts and dunks and 80 for lobs. Uh, how much did that just set the tone offensively, getting every, uh, everyone else going, and then he started to get going in the second half? I mean, just he's setting the table. 
he can always eat whenever he decides to. So, but he's just setting the table for everyone else. Um, everyone, you know, so we shared the wealth, 32 assists. Uh, I think we had something similar to that the last time we played these guys. Uh, but we know this is a great defensive ball club. Um, and they're going to force you to make the simple play and make multiple plays. And so you can't stall out after the first option is not available. You got to go to the second option, and even a third option at times. But, you know, that's, that's New Orleans. They, again, they're good in transition. They're good in the half court with their deflections and their ability to get steals the way they they activate the backside of their defense by shifting and taking away your rollers and forcing you to find the right pass. And so um, it was great. We kept it simple. We kept the ball moving, played with a lot of pace, a lot of pace, and made quick decisions. And, and uh, I think that fed right into what you know you saw from Brian. Tom, the way this is shaped out, it's you can look at it like you guys are the lower seed going on the road to play two straight playoff games against. The, the home team in, in, to begin a playoff game, a play, being a playoff series. Uh, how do you make adjustments from today to Tuesday, um, knowing that obviously they're, they're going to dive into the game tape as well? I mean, you just lean into what you did well, the general themes of what you did well, right? You know, you, you just try to lean into that. Uh, excuse me, you know, keeping them off the glass, for one, not giving them extra opportunities. Our defensive activity, um, just just us shifting and supporting one another. Someone's driving. They saw multiple bodies behind that initial defender, uh, contesting without fouling. Um, for them to only have 14 free throws for the game, that's you know that's that's pretty good damn defense. In terms of not committing a bunch of silly fouls, which in turn put them on the three point uh, free throw line. They get to see shots go in and gives them confidence from the from the free throw line to the three point line. Uh, but just leaning to what we did well, um, understanding that they may make some adjustments in terms of their matchups, uh, and just have a plan, a backup plan, and, and an escape plan. Um, once we see what you know what their response is to what we've done tonight, and so the chess game has been ignited, and um, you know we're all for it. We're gonna go back here today. Coach, as a coach of staff and watch the film ourselves and try to pull from you know the positives we did and, and, and continue to preach those and see where you know we, we, we may have gotten a little inconsistent in some defensive uh, possessions and try to clean all of that up. Thank you.